Hello guys, my name is Vox and welcome to part 37 of our Nuga Light campaign in Crusader Kings 2 Warhammer mod. Let's continue. So, in the previous episode, we finished our war with non um, for the some some kind of duchy, I don't remember, or some kind of kingdom, doesn't really matter. Uh, we've declared on him, because it looks like he's like the only one guy left around here who could be use um, unholy subjugation on, or at least the one who is close enough. And we're probably gonna be declaring war on him again relatively soon. We should have a truce with him for like two extra months and then we're gonna be able to declare it again and in here we're getting siege down. Uh, all the way around. Yeah, we still have all of these stupid rebellions popping like Kislevit gods, the northern gods, all of these gods, but uh, we're gonna be able to burn it down all these holdings relatively soon, so Let's hope it's not gonna be too much of a problem. And also we built ourselves some extra armies in here. Yeah, this I think I uh, I've been trying to build some extra like chaos beasts, but looks like it's not really worth that. Not really worth it much, so I'm just gonna continue building building up using my prestige and building up the um the heavy cavalry and stuff. Probably gonna be worth more. Okay, are you gonna accept white peace? You are. Great. And we're gonna castrate you, I think. Great, good jump. Go away. Mm. Where is that? Blind. Actually, blind also might be a decent idea to do, but no. Okay. Could we burn down anything else? No. We could settle down, but it's definitely not going to happen. How's the supply limit looking in here, if I, if I were to combine these two armies? Mm, how about Oblint? Yeah, all of this pop ups are uh, gonna start getting annoying, so we'll just... We're just gonna start throwing all of these people who's asking for freedom into Oblint, just so they're gonna die probably quicker and stop giving me these pop ups. So, 12,000 troops. Could this province support so many? Yeah, I definitely can. So. Let's see when our truce is gonna expire. It's gonna expire in one day. Now it's gone, great. I'm just gonna declare a holy subjugation right away again. If we managed to beat him last time, I think it shouldn't be hard at all to, be, uh, to beat you again. Even without the help of any of my vassals. I'll just go uh, conquer one by one. The ones that are on my border. And we're gonna do the same, just gonna go for the capital of his clans, switch it down and kill the armies uh, kill the armies that we're gonna see on our way 20th Northern God Surprising by the way you look kind of weird definitely doesn't look like a a Northern character but sure and of course they're all rebelling like not even on my, on my armies, let's go and get the second army somewhere close as well just so maybe it's gonna be quicker for us to deal with the next rebellions. And we could burn down something here. Let's go and do this. And there goes the temple. Great. Now that my vassal seems to be caring about any extra lands for now. Which is great. I think we're just gonna be assaulting all these clan holdings because they're not really protected at all. How's our capital looking? Have we already upgraded it or... Yeah, we have. Mm, let's go start working on more meat preservers. I just try to max out our supply limit everywhere. And yeah, people have been suggesting that I should probably conquer chaos, wa uh, chaos wastes first and then work on the uh, then work on the stuff in here. Like, <laughs> I don't know if you could call it Europe or not, but it's probably made out of Europe, so I think that's what we're gonna be doing. I don't know if it actually matters in, in terms of like Chaos f or Nurgle favors and stuff. If having all of the Chaos ways is gonna make any difference, but... It's certainly not, not that hard, so why not? Also, what the heck with this army? Is it just... Why is it respawning? How are you doing that? Or am I just killing it and then you're buying a new one? But why are you allowed to buy it in your capital? <laughs> are you freaking kidding me? Three extra stacks in one month got spawned, that's weird. Okay, but we already have 67, so go upset white piece and go away. Uh, 
behind the second stack, I'm gonna go like down here, try to patrol this area evenly. Okay, stop respawning, please. Am I even receiving any war score for these battles? Yeah, it looks like like 1% per each. Not really that terrible. And you're gonna get castrated and released. Good job. Stop for, uh, fornicating. Yeah, okay, looks like he's not gonna stamp it. It's actually quite annoying that he's allowed to do this. That he allows to spawn on the territory that actually have siege down. Mm, I spent like prestige or money or what on building these armies. Yeah, you're definitely building them for prestige, but looks like you. No, it's not prestige, it's army maintenance. Okay, I'm just gonna go and split this army in half then. If you're willing to be such an annoying bastard. But I have a feeling that you're just gonna get spawned in some other province, ne province nearby the capital, yeah. Okay. Are they gonna be able to resiege with 100 troops? They definitely would be able to do this. So that's cheating. Uh, yeah, 6,000 6, and 2,000. Shouldn't be too terrible to engage. And we have a couple of leaders in here, so that's fine. Actually, probably should not be uh, spending or should not be sending myself as a leader. Because I remember that in the previous episode, I think we got maimed during the combat. And that's actually not that great. Do we have any better leaders in here? Yeah, let's go and place. Actually, our air is already in here. Let's go and place someone else. Uh, instead of me in the battle because I don't know if you could die in the battle as a Nurgleite. I'm not a Nurgleite champion, I'm like chosen of Nurgle, but still. Uh, I don't know if you could die during the battle like uh, as this guy, but as this character. I would rather not risk it. And go kill this thousand, go stitch down this thing, and... Okay, looks like this guy ran out of... Ran out of supplies to build all this hundred stacks, so that's great, so you're gonna go siege down this, you're gonna go siege down that, and that might actually be enough to deal with everything, how's pillaging looking, okay, we could pillage tons of stuff, and now all of a sudden it's 50 ducats again, great, so it's gonna take our tithe, and we're gonna spend it all on the upgrades, looks like nothing's still getting burned down, or not, not getting destroyed, so it's gonna be quite a long time until um, this new clan gonna receive any lands. Actually, never mind. Some of the stuff going away. I just should try not to uh, burn down my temple. Actually, where's our second holy site? Uh, Zabrajin. Let's go and find this, find this province. Mm, excuse me? Oh, Zanbajin. Zanba... Kingdom, best gonna turn... I think it, we need Bernie. Yeah. And so a whole side. Should I build a temple in here as well? I don't know. If it looks like a good idea or not, let's just build it. Why not? We're gonna be worshipping Nurgle all the way. Everywhere. <laughs> Actually, how's our moral authority looking? 24 organized religion, infidels, rebels, crushed, plus 17, paragon of virtue, successfully county conquests, yeah, that's decent. Oh, and this guy is going with this thing again, okay, I guess I'm just gonna ignore Singe down this other clan, and we're gonna be working with this 6000 stack. Maybe even this one siege is gonna be enough. Because you only have like four clans or something, so it's gonna be like half of your realm siege down pretty much. No, 95. Okay, then this battle should do it. If you could catch you. And we kind of could. Great. Spend weeks in the wilderness searching for any trace of your prey, but no avail. And <laughs> I'm getting pneumonia and 20% chance of stress. Okay, that's cool. I think I already uh, got pneumonia. And another one, Kislevit Gods. Cool. I return to my court, yeah, yeah. Everything's fine. My Chancellor improved clan sentiment. Talking about clan sentiment. 
Mm, everyone seems to be quite content. After this of careful planning, this guy from the court of Tarkon Brun has raised large army of exiles, something, something, okay. Why do I care about you? Weak claim on some place around here. He's not he's not from my court, he's not declaring war on me. So why do you give me this pop-up? No idea. But this should do it for the war, yeah. Oh, and we captured some clan leader. Could we ransom you? Mm, we couldn't, but we could ransom some other guy. Should I go and like, I don't know, execute you? What could I do with clan leaders? Something interesting? Oh, I couldn't sacrifice you to Nurgle. So that's unfortunate. Okay, let's just finish this war. Get extra Nurgle favor. And Pites and Prestige and all of this good stuff. Nice. And yeah, we would need to give away a lot more lands to my clans now again. Oh well. I'm gonna start with this small one. And try to give him uh, give him whatever we can. This Volksgrad sink. Uh, got uh, burned down to the ground, so we should be able to give it away now. Anything else around here close? Close enough. Oh, this one is about to get burned down as well, but unfortunately I couldn't pillage, or uh, couldn't pillage it right now. And this one, like two, two burns downs from uh, from the end. Also, how's your clan called? Genny. You have twenty, so yeah, you could you could have this hell green thing. So it's gonna give it to you. I think I burned it down. Yeah. So you're gonna receive Hellgrind. Mm. Please? My goodness. The, <laughs> the farther away we're getting to the game, the, and the more annoying this title management gets in. Especially when I'm just rejoining the game. I'm not really f uh, concentrated and it's kind of hard to see any provinces to give away in here. I think I should be looking for Tarkanates, because this is what counts as cold in here, I'm pretty sure. Okay, 7 extra, oh my goodness. So, okay, this one is also burned down, Arzamas. So you're gonna receive this one. <laughs> Arzamas. It's not, it's not... Okay. All the others still need to be... To be dealt with. Okay. Now in here, what kind of holdings I could give away? I already gave you... Like pretty much everything around here. That's kind of unfortunate. Oh, and why have I... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh, in here. We also have this guy who, whose lands not get, not got revoked. Could I revoke it right now? I could. I hope I'm not gonna get any rebellions right away. Okay, now burn it down. And give it to this clan. Yeah, that should work out. So, uh, Gala Forest. It should be probably easier to find it because it's two words instead of one for most accounts. Uh, so, six extra. Uh, I think I'm now gonna go and just give away this blood needs, I think. Because it doesn't really matter who's gonna hold the temple. As long as he's not gonna, uh, as long as he's not gonna burn it down, I think it's gonna provide us with extra... Uh, with extra moral authority. Of course, all the time. Oh, this temple need to be given away separately. No. Hmm. Let's create a random vassal in here. And could I now give you away the county? 
Actually, let's look at this vassal. He's gonna be a theocracy in Nurgalite. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, could I give Platnissa to you or not? Yeah, I could. And it should hopefully count. Yeah. And this guy gonna be transferred to you. He would. Okay. Now, we have like three extra holdings up top here. So it's all gonna go to you. Uh, Malchin Zafkan Sakur. Let's look for three of these ones. Malchin Zafkan Sakur. Mm. Zafkan. Mm -hmm. Malchin. Mm, and Sakur. Okay. How many more? Two extra. So, around here, we've done with everything, right? For now. So, two extra would need to be up here. I think it's gonna be Ribaritsa and... Alcoron. Alcoron Ribaritsa. Alcoron Ribaritsa. Alcoron and Ribaritsa. Oh, they actually one after another, but unfortunately I could give only one per per time. Ribaritsa. Okay, are we done? We're done. Great, finally. So, in here. We don't really need to do anything, right? Our capital is already up top here. Talking about capital, we need to probably upgrade it even more. We couldn't get any more meat preservers or ox wagons. So let's just go and work on cattle pens. Get some extra population growth. And let's get and recombine our armies. And we're probably gonna redeclare really war on these guys soon. As the truth gonna... Gonna expire. Oh, so there's something happening here. Oh, it's actually an uprising. They decided to rebel all the way in this one, one annoying count. Okay, I guess, I guess it's fine with me. Also, we had this, like nothing here, or maybe in here. We got one, one guy on the coast who had like a city or something in here. We could kind of attack him with our, with the Jure claim. But I don't really care about the Jure claims. I only care about Nurgal favors, so I just don't focus on the Chaos Waste for now. My father in law gave me Nurgal's Rot again. Okay. And we go we lost the Siege of Kosovo. Excuse me? Oh, okay. There it is. I almost thought this I almost thought this thing uh like, you got independent again. It would, would have been fun. Okay, that's nice you spawned right in my army. I can accept white peace. No, you're not. So, yeah, I would need to do freaking track down this other army, unfortunately. Okay, how long of a truce we have this time? Yeah, four extra months. So, in four months we're gonna take you. And actually, we're soon gonna receive ourselves a border with elves. Oh, look at this. 50,000 armies. <laughs> okay, maybe... Maybe I shouldn't be that excited about having a border with elves, because they're kind of dangerous. But we could try to like burn down their holdings and try to get ourselves some uh, elf slaves. They probably would cost a pretty significant sum of money. Oh, these guys have a rebellion. I wonder why. Okay, we finished kettle pens. Oh, but we actually don't really have that much money left. Why? We've been burning down stuff quite... Uh, quite a lot. So it's gonna be a lot better. Okay. Are we gonna... Oh, why we have 100%? So someone just killed his army for me. Okay. I guess it's fine too. Let's get back. And let's go and castrate this guy. And... We are not gonna be settling down. But it's actually, it's actually already enough for me to have a break, guys. So... I'm gonna do this and we're gonna continue in the next steps. I'm gonna we're gonna attack non-gratitude guy again. And I think we have like two or three wars left with this guy. 
still in the chaos wastes. So that's nice. And Norgalite fa uh, fate is spreading. And that looks sweet. So, if you enjoyed watching this, you could leave a like. If you want to see more, you could subscribe. And if you want to leave a comment, you should definitely do it. And I would answer it as they could. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.